make sure those fucking dogs mm -hmm. are yeah. there. Hey everybody, Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. It is Monday. It is 1.58. It is 95 degrees here in Florida. You are looking at two police cars that are parked in front of 5710 Northwest 12th Street in Lauder Hill. I, before coming here to the address, I went to the neighbor's house behind where the dogs are and was on a ladder, um, a chair, and there are no dogs visible in the yard at this time. The three dogs that we focused on yesterday all day for hours on top of hours, two being tethered, one in a crate, in severe distress, breaking every law for animal protection, every statute for animal protection. After four officers arrived yesterday from Lauder Hill Precinct and failed and failed and failed and failed. And then animal control came out after five hours of calling from all of our supporters and ourselves and left the dogs in the same situation when we arrived. The officers are walking out of the house. I can tell you that the dogs are no longer outside at this moment. Where the dogs are currently, I have no idea. I reached out to Broward Animal Care and Adoption Shelter. They have not responded back when I asked for an update and a public records request. So I do not know if these dogs were removed yeah, she, by she right yeah, Broward Animal Care or if these dogs were taken into the owner's home. I don't know if they were handed citations yesterday for all of the neglect and breaking all the laws. But I am sitting here right now updating all of you that the dogs are no longer on the property. The two cop cars are here and they are driving away or are they not? Are they stopping here to talk to me? Do you stop? Hi, officer. How are you? I'm the one that called. Okay. Um, do you mind if I film you to update everybody that's watching so you can stop getting phone calls? Well, now I have, I have to go to another call. So... Can you just tell me quickly? Huh? Quickly. The dogs are no longer in the backyard. No. No. Are they inside the house? Yeah. Okay, so all three dogs were taken inside. And they're going to be monitored and followed up on as far to make sure that they're not put back out? Yes, ma'am. And animal control was here yesterday. Okay. Yeah. And and what is your name, officer? Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yes. Thank you. No Look at her filming you. So you heard it, guys. Um, as I stated, I got the beat. Way better. Can yeah, I? sure. You can do whatever you want. Hi. Smile. So the dogs are no not. Fish. The dogs are not. Everybody wave to the um, way abuser. Better. Everybody wave to the abuser. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, piece of shit. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, so all the dogs are now taken inside and they are not tethered. They're not in a crate dying. Um, I'll close my window because I don't want to have any confrontation and start to have any confrontation. And I'll just drive by her. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get, get my license, license plate, plate bitch. bitch. That's the house over there that we're driving by. Um, so guys, as I was stating, hey everybody, I'm just breathing for a minute. I'm leaving the location. Um, I'm sure they're really pissed off that they've had cops outside their house continuously since yesterday. Um, I'm careful, I'm careful. Uh, the two cops that were here uh, just now, um, I just asked them where the dogs are Animal control 
failed, okay? Because animal control came and left the three dogs in the same situation that they were in when we arrived yesterday early. We were here for five hours screaming and yelling and begging for help. Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, the only reason, the only reason that anything was done about this situation was because of each and every one of you. Each and every one of you that made a call, sent an email. Now it's not over yet, I can tell you right now because we have to keep monitoring and making sure. Uh, these are creature of habit and we have to make sure they don't put these dogs back out um, on their tethers and in a cage. <clears throat> Well, you, you can, Paige, unfortunately, um, what happens is they, when animal control and the police come out, uh, they will come out and they will give them warning citations. It's up to the police department to file criminal charges, and that could have easily been done yesterday. Um, criminal charges could have been filed um, against them for the way that they were treating their animals. Um, there's a car behind us that's is sitting. There? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just stopped for a minute. Um, so this is a dangerous neighborhood. So what I'm gonna do, I should probably, we should probably head out. I don't really want to involve him anymore in this. So as I stated, guys, um, <clears throat> yesterday fighting and fighting for these three dogs that were in severe distress. And in my opinion, it was death. It would have been death any longer out here. They were cooking, okay? It's uh, literally, go ahead, it's literally 97 go degrees out here right now. Go Just wave to her to go. Um, <clears throat> and like I stated before, um, I'm just looking around at my yeah. surroundings, guys. That's all I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna head out. The news crew was supposed to come out here. Um, I am not gonna sit here and wait for them. I'm actually heading out. Um, it's not worth it. It's not worth our life, really. Um, I'll reach out to David by text and let him know that uh, the, do the dogs have been taken inside. Um, I don't even know what else to say right now. I know that everybody has been outraged Rightfully so. Uh, David is okay. I just saw him and spoke to him. Um, but he needs to go down to the courthouse and file um, a restraining order against them. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you that sent me emails. Um, you made your phone calls all night. I mean, when I tell you thousands and thousands and thousands of phone calls and emails were sent and made, um, it takes power in numbers. Um, I, Vanessa, I sent an email along with several other people to Broward asking them what their findings were yesterday, what citations were given, um, asked a lot of questions. I have yet to receive any kind of response from them. I would love to know. If there's nothing to hide from them, I would love to know what they did yesterday um, because they left the dogs, like I stated, in the situation when we arrived. Um, which was death, basically. And none of us slept all night. Um, believe me, none of us slept all night. It's been eating at us, um, beyond eating at us. We have been crazy uh, because of the situation. So I am heading, I'm out of the neighborhood right now, um, heading back uh, to our rescue houses. Uh, but I just wanted to update everybody. Uh, the dogs are no longer on the property of 57 10 Northwest 12th Street. Um, they were taken inside the home of that location. Uh, we will follow up and make sure they are kept inside and not put back out on tethers and cages to cook and die and breaking every law of animal protection. Um, and again, Broward County Animal Care and Control, you have a lot of um, a lot of people asking questions and you have a lot of answering to do for these questions that we have um, as to why the dogs were left there and what was actually done when you arrived yesterday um, so that's that um, as far as the Lauder Hill Police Department I have nothing nice or positive to say about them um, they're a complete disgrace they don't know the laws of for protection for animals they were rude 
Um, we were made to feel like we were the criminals yesterday and the only reason I believe wholeheartedly that they came back out today is that they cannot handle the calls and the emails 24 7 around the clock they have to do something to make everybody go away so everybody know just be on standby um, and they lied to all of us stating that the dogs were removed yesterday when that was not the truth because last night they were still out there so I don't know at what point and what time the dogs were taken inside but I can tell you they were out there last night um, and it is 2 o'clock 208 right now I am just leaving the location of 5710 Northwest 12th Street and the dogs are no longer tethered or in cages in this 97 degree temperatures we're baking we're literally cooking like you're in an oven okay so everybody stay with me because if I need you again I'm gonna put out another plate we have to let them know that we're not gonna go away and they can't shove this under the rug for a short time and think that we're not gonna be here we're watching we have a lot of eyes there are 255 plus thousand followers on this page remember power in numbers everybody thank you all for your love and your support um, your emails and your calls without you none of this would be possible I'll update more later everybody this is Amy 100 plus with Shelly abandoned dogs of Everglades Florida